Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave, and today we're going to uh, develop a color film uh, using the Jobo uh, film developer machine and Roly's DigiBase C41 developer. Okay, so before we get on to developing, and you can skip past this, I'll put the chapters in. I um, just want to go a little bit over the two cameras I've been using uh, just recently, and quite a dramatic thing that I did was I sold nearly all my 35mm cameras. <laughs> Mistake, I know. Um, I wrote a piece of this on one of my websites, which I'll put the link below. Um, basically all the 35mm Canon A1s, <laughs> the AL ones I love so much, and a few other bits and bobs um, I sold, which allowed me to buy uh, the Roly that you saw at the beginning, and bring back into play my two uh, EOS uh, 1 35mm film cameras, uh, notably the N, which is now a sort of 35mm walkabout, and the bigger boy, the big, the big beast, uh, the 1V HS, which I used as well. But in, uh, also got uh, the uh, Rodiflex. Um, now I put a picture up. If any one of you clever people can tell me the exact model, because I can't find a name anywhere. So <laughs> it'd just be nice to know which one I've got. But it is in beautiful condition. I am sending it away to get a CLA. Uh, just it's been probably never been done in its 40, 50, 60 years old. Um, it works. There's a tram line going down the side, so I think. That's probably the plate or something but anyway i'll get it fixed and it'd be perfect but on today's film today's video uh we went to um uh evsham house i think it is I'll, I'll put the thing and charles darwin's house and i used a few rolls of film on the n the one in and the roly as a test um just to see how they work um check trying out different things and on this particular roll of Portra 500, which we're going to develop today, uh, 400, slip of tongue there, I set the ISO to 500 because I'm playing around with pushing, not pushing films, that's a wrong word, um, just adding extra exposure or at least less exposure, and particularly on this reel, uh, which I only finished today at the time I finished one up the shops, just shot off a load of films, just rubbish pictures. But, um, so it's set at 500. But I also, after frame 13, I played around with uh, two stops over on exposure, uh, compensation, and then a couple of shots at one, a couple of shots normal, a couple of shots under, a couple of shots under. So I've got a little range of uh, film in there. And a few other test shots I just wanted to play around with. Another shot on the one end uh, with a 24 to 70, I think it is. It's the, that one over there. Um, and then the other films, the 120 film and the 35 mils were done at the house that we went to. I'll get the name for it, I never remember it. And Charles Darwin's house, which was fantastic, by the way. If you ever get a chance to go there, go there. It's very good. Um, so, enough waffle. We're going to crack on. Okay, we've uh, developing today. We're going to use the Jobo. And this is a Jobo tank. This is the extended version. So, you, normally you'd have this little one. Put two 35s or 120, one 120, but you can add this extension here. Gives you five 35s in one hit, or three, four 120s. I'm not quite sure. One, two, three, three 120s. Or um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put one 35 and then open these up and do 120. So straightforward to use. Very similar to the pats and tanks that I have as well. Put the spindle in there that goes on. That's also the extension comes with the extension for that as well. So it goes in there. And then when you when you're in the dark, when you've loaded on to the Jobo reels, you um you can get that thing when I do this on the tables there's no moving so that goes in there. And then so today that will be 135 going in here. And a 120 and then another 120 okay and then we put the lid back on 
make sure it's tight as you can make you think it's on tight but it's not okay and then when you put it in the roller it pops off and you go oh my god <laughs> that's it essentially that's the rotary tank ready to go it's got a cog on the end there that goes on a clip which i'll briefly go over but again when i do a full video on the jobo we'll go over it in much more detail that's essentially what I'm going to do. And then very similar, 235s in a smaller version with the cog. So I'm going to do lights out. Load these up with the five colour films that I've got. Portraits, mixed mixture of different films. But you can do that with C41, that's fine. And um, come back and we'll get on with mixing the chemicals. Okay, so that's the little tank that's loaded. And just a little tip, an extra tip. If you load your own film, into a canister like or fire a loader like that which I've got loaded with um, Kentmere 400 just for black and white testing you can if you're when you're loading your uh, film can up into the reel if you cut it off and leave a bit here you can then use this to attach to the film that's in here and that also gives you the um, ISO coding, automatic coding, if you use a camera that has that. So I've got loads up here with different ones that I'm saving as I go along. Doesn't, the brand doesn't matter, it's just, you just obviously got to make sure you use the right size film in there. Anywho, that was a little distraction. Hope you get value out of that. So that one's loaded. And the other one is ready to go but until we get some chemicals in these three we're not gonna be able to do it so i'm now going to set up and show you my mixing of the roly digibase c41 that i'm going to use for these the water's um as you can see here the water's warming up uh, it's going to take a little while yet so let's get on with making the chemicals right so now we're going to mix up the uh digibase c41 from Roly, so A, B, and C, <clears throat> and this is the starter. Um, I don't need that for a minute, right? So on the side here, it says uh, for 250 mil, you need 25 mil of each A, B, and C, and two and a half mil of the stabilizer. The stabilizer. Now I'm making 500 mil because then my large tank, well both the tanks, take 500 mil plus of each mix. So I'm going to double that. So it's going to be 50, 50, 50, and 5 mil, and then top up with water. Okay. But to get it going, I'm going to start it with a bit of water, just so we've got some something for the chemicals to go into. It doesn't really matter how much, just enough i'll put the starter in last part a and use my little so we want 50 mil part a <clears throat> 50 mil part a go the funny color Mixer, which I should have done before. I just pushed record. Standard sort of standard paddle mixer. Just, just make sure it's put in there. So we're on A, now B. And the beauty of this is this will do 10 um, 10 films. Okay, so I've got three in there at the moment, which I'll mark on the lid. So I'll put a bit of blue tape on the lid. I'll show you that in a minute. A bit of blue tape, uh, mark off how many I've done. And then when I've done 10, I'll just get, get rid of all the chemical, all of them. So even the, the uh, fixers, I'll show you in a second how I store it. So another 50 mil. That's it. Do, 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 do. Easy in it. Blump. Okay, so we've done with that now. So we'll put that one over there. Let it mix. <clears throat> I 
Oh, stabiliser first, sorry, sorry, really forgot that. Five mil of this, which I'm going to do via a little small syringe they give you in the kit. So this is a two mil, so I'm going to go two times two plus one, which makes five in my book. So, oh, we go in there. Bring that to two, which that is. That was a good guess. Obviously wash out everything when you've done it which is probably standard for all chemicals give it a good wash okay so now I've done the developer side of things other than give it a good mix and topping up I'm going to go just over 500, um, just a little bit like that, because the tank takes about 560 or so. So, okay, so put that in there with the chemical stuff. So that developer uh, will be going into a pot, which I've got here, which will warm up. To 38 degrees via the Jobo, which is currently heating the water up. It's always quite warm to my hands now. Uh, so I put the developer into here. Okay. Put the lid on. Blue tape, <clears throat> just because it comes off the lid easy. And a pen for count. Okay, so when I've done the five films, that's the three in the big tank, the two in the little tank, I'll mark five on there. That means I've got five left, and I empty that and redo this whole procedure. So I pop that in the Jobo. The next one is the bleach, so I'll just put these away. In the box. For the next time, and this stuff lasts a really long time. I was quite shocked. I, I did, um, I'm going to show you some pictures on the screen while I'm bending uh, over. Bleach, right, so here's the bleach. Um, <clears throat> and I took these at um, the engine room at Tower Bridge. And I used, I risked it, and I thought, well, let's see. And I had a, one that I'd used a few weeks pre previous, maybe three or four weeks, and um, I thought, shall I use it? And I was like, okay, so I heated it up, blah, blah, and they come out stunning. So, um, you know, once you've used it, you've got some time, you've got quite a bit of time before having to use it for your next batch. So don't panic too much. Uh, okay, bleach, so, um, Yeah, sorry, so I was just reading on here. There we go. So you need um, for 250 mil, it says here, 250 mil. If I come in a bit, maybe I might be able to get this a bit closer so you can see. Right, they don't give you a manual because it's all written on the bottles. You can download a manual from DigiBlaze. Anyway, so for 250 mil mix, so we're going to do 500, we need 70 mil of the bleach. Yeah, so that's 140 mil of bleach to our 250 mil. So I'm going to put the 140 mil in and then top up to, two, uh, to 500. Okay, so I'm going to get my, my other 500 because it's been used. Er, where's me? Use this little one. So I want, what do I want? I want uh, 140 mil, 140 mil of this. the mill there. Are we there? No, not yet. Uh, there we go. A bit too much. Well, I don't think it makes much of a difference, but let's be good. I'm growing up about this. Okay. 
just putting it all back in the box just for safekeeping. Get it fixed around in a second. So now I'll pop that in there, which I could have put in here to be honest, it's marked up at that point. Oh, yeah. oh well. And let's do the 500 mark again. Like so. And that get my bleach oh. and oh. pull this see because I broke one of my uh, 500 mils I'm gonna get a plastic one the fix which doesn't really make it. so I put it in Jobo so it warms up plastic pot so 500 mil again so bleach is 50 mil per 250 so 100 mil uh, for for that so I'm gonna pour it straight into here because I haven't got me another mixer well I've got my little one but anyway so 100 mil of fixer Yeah. So apparently this this large kit does about 100 films so it's about 50 odd p a film which i think is quite economical and this water i'm using i've filtered via a brita filter because my london water is quite hard so um i was getting real bad water stains on black and white i know all films do this and uh, since i started filtering the water uh, mixing chemicals and especially the wash, the last wash. Um, I've had, to be honest, either no issues with watermarks or um, minor. You know, they just you can wipe them off and and uh, do that. Anyways, uh, spatula up there. Okay. So that's the fixer. In each bottle of um, each Jobo bottle, I've written like fix bleach, simple to one, or if I'm doing um, black and white. Uh, I just wrote, wrote black and you know, C41 color black and white for the for the developer. I clean the bottles out. So right, so there we go. So <coughs> I'll give you a little guided tour of the filtering system, and now I'm going to top up with water. So there's my um, Britta. Okay, and I'm going to pour some water in the jug and put it in. So there's the developer with waiting for the label, the bleach, the fix. Um, first wash will go in here. Then these are one uh, 260 mil each, so two makes 500, you know thereabouts. So that would be first wash, second wash, third wash, and then I'll refill. So I'll do four washes per cycle. All right, but now I've got to wait some time now to get that up to uh, temperature. So I'll fill these up and then we'll come back when we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so now on with the uh, the fun bit, developing. So um, everything's up to 38 degrees uh, or thereabouts. It's a little net over, but nothing to worry about. Um, so remember we're gonna do the developer, which will be three minutes, 15. We can my little chart. Uh, the bleach will be four minutes, and the fix will be six minutes, and then I've got my four washes. So three, fifteen, four, and six, and wash. Um, but these three will go in back in their pots because I'll be using them again for the two thirty-fives in the smaller tank, which is here. 
um, and then that will be my five reels, the first five reels of this developer's 10 usage, if that makes sense. So they'll mark it, and then they'll all go storage until I've got five more rolls of uh, colour. So, I'm going to crack on. We'll go through the first one, not the whole three three minutes, because you don't really need to see that, but I'll chop out the middle bit, show you the lift, the, this lift, which empties the, empties the tank. Not on the floor, hopefully, but into this bucket. And um, then it's just basically repeat and cycle through the various minutes that I've mentioned already. So, on with the show, yeah? Okay, here we go. Just move that out of the way, so I'm going to get a bit wet by accident. So, I've got the developer. I don't tend to worry about a pre-wash. Um, some do, some don't. So, up to you, really. So, pour it in. Start her off. Right there and there, and it's uh, doing its rotary thing. Um, when I do black and white, I tend to take fifteen percent off of the time uh, because it's variable depending on what uh, film and uh, developer you're using. But with C forty one, I don't seem I don't seem to need to do that. Now I might be wrong but I'm just following the relevant guide um, for times. Uh, when I get on to the second batch of five films, so as I've done this at these times, I do tend to add a bit more developer time, what do I want to say, 3.30, somewhere around there, and a bit more for the bleach and a bit more for the blicks. Not too much, like a minute each, just to make sure that they're okay. But then that's it, they're spent then, so they get thrown away safely. Um, and towards the end I'll show you the lift pouring out the chemicals. No, it's no hands, it's all <laughs> quite easy. So we'll be back in a moment. But 30 seconds to go. So now I'm just going to wait till we've got about 10 seconds and then empty it in back into the pot. And then as quickly as I can do the bleach. So we're on 16, 15, 14, 13, 10. So we'll just empty that back into the pot. Because if you remember, we're going to, we're going to reuse that. Unless we stop watch. One second. So we've got the bleach red. So here we go again. 30 seconds. Let's get everything ready to. Reuse the bleach again, and it's ticking down. And uh, then we'll do the fix for six minutes, as I said before. And we'll whisk through the washes, and then um, oh, here we go. Ten seconds. So turn that off. back into the water, warm water, it's ready. So then, um, don't really need to see the washes, I hope, <laughs> but obviously the water, I won't be saving the water uh, from the washes, uh, that'll go into the bucket. Um, but we'll come back when I've got the washes done at the end, and we'll put them off, off camera down here on the floor, there's a, a, a bowl uh, two litres of stabiliser in it, C41 stabiliser, and then we'll uh, squeegee the uh, films, hang them up to dry, while the little ones, the 235s, are getting developed. Okay, so back in a moment. Just something you might be interested in, uh, maybe I can show you in the video, but 
Uh, when the fix was first made, it was nice and clear. And after the first bleach interaction, as it were, it goes that colour. So um, if, if that happens to you, that's normal. <laughs> Perfectly normal, don't worry. I just thought I'd inject just in case uh, if you've never used it before, then uh, that's normal. So now this is the first water wash of two minutes. Again, you haven't got to be accurate with the timing for the wash. It's, you know, it's just water, just cleaning it up. It's, um, and uh, started. Right then, so we're on the fourth wash. Um, let that do its thing. Again, it's, it's not time specific, so just wing it if you have to. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll empty that, take that off, put it on the floor here for a minute. Put the 35 on because you've got to adjust the roller as well so that it rolls around properly. And then start off whilst we do the uh, the um, stabilising part. So that's the minute, so stop that. One, wait in, three. So 3.15 again. It's a loud little clock there. Okay, so. Yep, one and clear. Marvellous. Okay. Just click that off and then I just tend to any residual. Okay, pop that down there and we'll move the rollers up so nice and warm water. Wash my hands while I'm at it. Right there I think. On there. Yep. Let's give it a test. Yep. So the wheels are just on the end of the uh, container. So you just have to slide it up and down which size you're using. Anyway. Develop R. Again. That's our uh, there. So now let's move the. Uh, I don't need to see that again. So that's it's going to it's going to repeat. Bleach, fix, wash. Anyway, so now so we're going to go into this bucket here. It's already got a stabilizer. As you can tell with the bubbles, and I've got that wet for squeegeeing. So. Essentially, I'll put this down here so you can actually see what I'm doing. You can probably see me doing what I'm doing. Okay, so we uh, crack open the lid. Okay, it's still wet, so put it somewhere that's wet. And inside here we have images. I don't know if you'll see these on the camera, but I think you can see. There's something in there. Are they any good? I don't know, but they're in there. So, that means the roll is working. How well it's worked, we don't know. So, now just drop that in there. Close that up. Fiddly. There we go. Get some tissue. Oh, oh yeah, we always have a roll of. Um, this stuff, mine's running out now, but uh, for keeping things dry, I'm mopping up off here. Here we go again. Yeah, so we've got images in there. I don't know if, you, don't know if the camera's gonna show anything, but we'll see more of that later when we when I put the, the board behind it, the light board behind it. So you see, and where are we? Down here. So, it's the 35 mil. Yep, so the one end's working as well. This was Ektar 100, uh, yeah, Ektar 100. The others were Portra. So it's got its uh, usual blue, slight blue tint, which you have to fix in scanning, but that's fine, it's no problem. 
show you how to do that as well in a minute. So that's done, so that's going to dry off. So they're going to have a minute in there, again, a minute or so. You know, you've got to worry about it too much. How long have we got? Oh, we've got 10 seconds coming up, so. Give a dead bottle. From down there. Right, so we get a 35. I'm gonna just run it through my fingers first, just to get the bulk off. And then I flip it. Okay, I'm not putting too much pressure on it because the still uh, soft. So now it's gentle all the way down. I'm going to attempt to do two. Da -da. Okay. I'm going to attempt to fold over the top. You can see that? Yeah. So it's fold over the top. It's 35mm, so it's quite long. 35mm by 36 frames. And my shed's not 7 million feet tall. And we go down here. Put the weighted end on. Now, a little bit extra I do, you might notice here, is I've got a load of bulldog clips. Yeah. Now I add one of these to the weighted end, just to add an extra bit of weight to stop them crinkling up and just sort of twisting and everything. So there we go. So that's doing its thing. Let's get the 120s out, same thing, same procedure. Bring your fingers without hitting me nails, of course, I don't want to scratch them. Although the roly, like I say, I did see a scratch that could be the uh, pressure plate or the runners need cleaning, but it's going to go away for a clean anyway. So, you know, that's academic really. <clears throat> I'd only got it the day before, so I had no chance to test it. There we go. Grey one, these, these Patterson clips, you can get other ones, but these are Patterson's. Okay, and then Bulldog clip. Just get that yeah. There you go, all nice, looking good. And then the other one, so we've only, how long have we got? Enough time to do this. Okay, so these are Portras. And there we go. We have films. So just do this one, hold on. And we'll get back to chain. So that's on the uh, fix, and um, there we are, we have films. So let me see if I can set this camera up. So I'm going to switch off and go set the camera up, see if I can get you a decent shot. Right, so here you go. So we've got colour negatives. I'm trying to be as careful as I can because I look sort of cack handy and there's some more there without the light. I suppose the light behind it, there you go. Okay, so we'll, we'll see how these scan out. And there's the 35. There you go. So, he's still doing his thing, it's got three minutes to go yet, so I'll 
I'll get all these hung up and uh, dry and then uh, probably close this one off and then I'll do a video about scanning this is all going to be quite long anyway um, thanks for watching hope um, that was useful uh, so that's the Jobo with Roly Digibase Cult C41 developer used on 120 and 35 mil color film, Ultra and Ektar, uh, in my shed. Which I'll give you a grand tour again, and we'll, we'll uh, do some pictures on that, which is the developer under uh, the enlarger under over there. And when I clear up all the mess, we'll get that done. Anyway, please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this. And thank you very much again for uh, watching.